Hello, hello, good people. This is Dilliard speaking, the CEO of the Open Wardrobe Gang, and welcome to a start of a completely new series on the channel, a blind playthrough from... Drumroll... Mass Effect 1, namely Mass Effect Legendary Edition. Um, so yeah, I'm very excited about this one. I created this channel in order to play some of those absolute classics that I've missed throughout the years, um, and it seems Mass Effect is definitely um, one of them. It is also high time to break the mold a little bit, considering the channel. So far, we've been only playing Souls-like, uh, Souls-likes and horror games. Um, on the channel so whipping out a good old RPG is like the perfect uh, direction to go right now. I am familiar with Bioware um, games, Dragon Age Origins is one of my favorite, absolute favorite games um, of all time, it's absolutely amazing, but I've heard rumors, I've heard talks in the gaming space, in the gaming community that Mass Effect and I don't necessarily know whether it's this one or like the series as a whole or like one of the games from the series but anyway Mass Effect is like Bioware at its best so <laughs> the, the the bar for me at this point is insanely high and it will be hard to top but we'll see we'll see what the developers cooked up over the years um what do I want to mention more? Oh, I've also never played like a sci-fi game in my life. Usually considering RPGs, I'm more of a sword and shield, bow and arrow type of guy. Medieval fantasy is my thing. I do love um, big bulky armor sets. Um, so I am kind of curious about this whole, en whole environment, sci-fi environment and what sci-fi specific mechanics will we see in this one um yeah uh, for the technical parts i'm playing on steam i'm playing with mouse and keyboard but i've heard talks uh, that this game is more enjoyable on a controller um if the ui doesn't suit the mouse and keyboard too well or if uh, with this completely new setup for mouse and keyboard there will be some noise that is noticeable that is being picked up on the recording i will eventually switch to to the controller it's, it's it's no biggie and considering mass effect as a whole i know pretty much next to nothing i would say um like around three things i know you play the main character is like named shepherd or something like that um i heard that people were not necessarily satisfied with the ending towards uh, this whole thing i assume that they mean uh, mass effect 3 but that's like a long way to go um and I believe I heard about the controversy in regards to Mass Effect Legendary Edition um, that they removed some of the ass shots considering like female NPCs which I find absolutely absolutely hilarious. I can only assume um, that you know I can only imagine the situation in which uh, there is like this emotional scene with like a female um, NPC and the, the voice actor is giving it uh, her all and you know then the game just cuts to like an ass shot of her. I would have loved that shit, that would have been so funny. Uh, we are being deprived of that sadly as of now. Um, do I have anything more written? I, I, I think that's all of the things I wanted to mention. I guess we'll just jump into a new career. Here I have like the resume option, but like, yeah, it was uh, created purely for the purpose of, you know, testing the game out, how it uh, runs and whether I can record it at all. Yeah, let's, let's, let's start new career. Let's go. Welcome to Alliance Military Database. Classified information requested. Hmm. Establishing secure connection. All right. Secure connection confirmed. Yeah. Here we go. Profile reconstruction due to your covered N7 status, whatever the hell that means. I mean, I can see it on the... 
on the armor of the main character. ID records are incomplete. Please confirm identity from the records below or register manually. Hmm. Alliance Marine John Shepard. CDR, I don't know what that title is. I think we will go through the manual character creation. I'm usually um, a little bit of a basic bitch boy considering my characters. Uh, I know th the meme with, you know, the fantasy setting usually providing you with these endless possibilities, but I usually do play like a generic white male. <laughs> um, let's do custom male. To access your profile. And let's 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 spice it up a little bit. Yeah, definitely we have to put in the name has to be compliant with the channel name. Let's go with Dilliard Shepherd. We can't uh yeah, I guess we can't change that one. Okay. Warning. Data corruption detected. Mm. Please reconstruct profile. Or reconstruct my face, Confirm baby. Pre-service history. Oh, pre-service history? Oh, that's interesting. I had no idea that this was a case. This totally reminds me of, like, the origin part of Dragon Age Origins. I think those two games, Mass Effect 1 and Dragon Age Origins, they are, like, two, uh, two years apart. Yeah, initially when I was testing the game out, I just clicked uh, John Shepard or whatever his name was and it uh, loaded up the game, but I wasn't aware that there are, there are origins. Okay, Spacer. I, I do love lore. I will get this out there as soon as possible, so I'm totally interested in reading all of the things that the game provides us with. I do love some good... Um, some good world building in in this bitch spacer both of your parents were in the alliance military okay your childhood was spent on ships and stations as they transferred from positioning from posting to posting never staying in one location for more than a few years following in your parents footsteps you enlisted at the age of 18 colonist you were born and raised on mindu Mindwar? <laughs> oh no, I'm already butchering the, the names. A small border colony in the Attican Traverse. When you were 16, slavers raided Mindwar. <laughs> that sounds French. Slaughtering your family and friends. You were saved by a passing alliance patrol and you enlisted with the military a few years later. Okay. This is this is peculiar. If I go with Spacer, it, are my parents still alive, baby? Because here they are dead, slaughtered, earthborn. You were an orphan raised on the streets of the great megatropolis, megatropolises covering Earth. You escaped the life of petty crime and underworld gangs by enlisting with the Alliance militarily. A military when you turned 18. I do vibe with this one. I do vibe with this one because I'm from the planet Earth in real life. I don't know about petty crimes because I'm usually a goody two-shoes character. But maybe the, the, the colonist would be nice. I do hate slavers. And I guess we will be kind of loyal to the military from the get-go because they saved our life. That kind of makes sense. Okay, let's go with a colonist. We are not Earthborn. We are an alien officially. Confirm psychological profile. Holy shit, there is so much. Okay. Soul Survivor. Is it the same for Confirm every single one? Confirm psychological yes. profile. Confirm, priest, confirm so, psychological profile. Thank you, computer. Uh, so, 
colonist and sole survivor during your service, a mission you were on went horribly wrong. Trapped in an extreme survival situation, you had to overcome physical torments and psychological stresses that would have broken most people. You survived while all those around you fell and now you alone are left to tell the tale. Jesus Christ! <laughs> what is this? I've already picked like a sad origin story and, and there is like part two there is a sequel to that war hero early in your military career you found yourself facing an overwhelming enemy force you risk your own life to save your fellow soldiers and defeated the enemy despite the impossible odds your bravery and heroism have earned you medals and recognition from the alliance fleet okay i do like this one i i think i don't want the sequel to the fucking uh, um Original sad story. Ruthless. That's not me. Throughout your military career, you have held fast to one basic rule, get the job done. You've been cold, cold, calculating and brutal. Your reputation for ruthless efficiency makes your fellow soldiers wary of you. But when failure is not an option, the military always goes to you first. I will go with the war hero. Yeah, we did something good, you know? We are, we, we've paid back uh, the, the military, the alliance a little bit for saving our lives, and now we've risked our own to save fellow soldiers. Yeah, okay, war hero. Military specialization. Okay, this is insane. <laughs> this is insane. What is this? Some perks maybe at the beginning, some stats? Soldier. Combat specialists, ideal for the front lines of a firefight. Uh, improved health, uh, specialize in all weapon types. Start with the ability to wear medium armor. Can train in the use of heavy armor. Engineer, tech specialist, holographic omni tool. Decrypt security systems, so it's like a rogue opening locks, <laughs> lock picking. Repair or modify technical equipment, disrupt enemy weapons or shields, and heal their squad. Engineers can only wear light armor and they specialize in pistols. Okay, this sounds a little bit boring. I do want to test a, a, a lot of weapons out on my main character. Adept. Oh, holy shit, we are a mage. Biotic specialists. Through upgradable implants, they can use biotic powers to lift or throw objects, shield your, the squad and disable or destroy enemies. Can only wear light armor, specialize in pistols. Okay, that sounds more interesting because it's special powers and pistols. Infiltrator. Um, combat and tech abilities to specialize in killing or disabling enemies at long range. Omni tools, decryption, offensive abilities, pistols or sniper rifles, medium armor, uh, armor, sentinels combine biotic and tech abilities, biotic abilities and advanced healing skill to defend allies, disrupt opponents with biotic or tech attacks. They are more efficient at tech and biotics than other classes. Expense of combat. Only wear light armor, no, speciali no specialized weapon training, and vanguard, biotic warriors, biotic and weapons, deadly at short range, pistols and shotguns, and wear medium armor. God damn it, I want it all. <laughs> I want it all. I want to go with a soldier because they can use all types of like heavy armor and different weapons, right? And at the same time, I want to go like use some space magic or something what should i do maybe let's go with this i do vibe with medium and heavy armor like i said i do love my bulky men in bulky armor and bulky plate armor i think this is like just a preset and that you start with and then later on we'll be able to put some skills into magic space magic Confirm facial identification. Let's change it up a little bit. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. Cycle presets. All of them look pretty much familiar. 
I heard Bioware is like kind of infamous. Can I like turn? Okay. I heard Bioware is kind of infamous for making like the same hairstyles and faces in all of their games. How about this? This guy looks cool. Let's start with him. Facial structure. <laughs> okay. Skin tone. Okay. All right, all right. I'm known to be pale. Complexion. No, none of that crude appearance. We are going in with like a baby face. Um. Head, neck thickness, face size. I'm pretty content with these. Um, ear size. I would like to get like hair. Yeah, let's start off with with the hair. Is there like no? Can I like turn my shepherd around? These fucking f futuristic looking hairstyles. Oh, I don't know about this. I, I would like to get back my um, long hair from Dragon Age Origins. These long hairstyles in that game, awesome. <laughs> How about we go in with something like this? Beard. Oh no. Oh no. Huh. How about we do it like this? Base it on my real life appearance, you know, someone who cannot necessarily grow a beard but would die trying. Uh brows, I'm pretty I'm I'm pretty content with this. What else can I like mess with? The scar, the scar on your face, okay, it definitely calls back to our origin. Not only are we a sole survival a survivor of some colony who went through some intense shit and we escaped with our lives considering, you know, the military, considering the alliance later down the line. Um so I'm totally content with the scar. Profile Finalize. Complete. Mm -mm -mm. Confirm facial identification. How about uh, nose is okay? Maybe eyes. Eye shape. Oh Jesus, this is scary. <laughs> um, iris color is the one that I'm interested in. I'm an, I'm an enjoyer of blue eyes and an owner of blue eyes, but how about we go with something like a little bit brownish I would I would I would like for this playthrough. And yeah, this looks fine. This looks fine. This is me and it's just like alternate reality when I'm like a space badass. Profile reconstruction complete. Yeah. Looks good. Dillard Shepherd, colonist, war hero and soldier. Let's go. Once you confirm your character is complete, you'll be unable to change any settings. So that's fine. Identification confirmed. Yeah, combat difficulty. Now here comes uh, the hard part. Um, I don't want to play on normal, as I. I, I think you can, yeah, the difficulty of combat across the game, but I think you can later tweak that a little bit. How about we start with Veteran, um, as I am familiar with uh, RPGs and uh, Bioware games, we'll later tweak it if, you know, the game is a little bit too easy. Um, I usually play my games on normal in order to get like the normal experience on my first playthrough, but let's start off with veteran. Auto level up, I don't know why you would want that. Level scaling, legendary mode and classic mode. In classic mode, the original 1 to 60 level range will be used instead of the new 1 to 30. XP and talent points progression remain the same, but the number of levels is doubled.
Okay, I, I, I think I get it. So we just double level, huh? So with the... Uh, we would level less frequently, but you would get more out of it, as in double the points. Well, this is fine. Squad power usage. Determines which skill and talent squad members will use in combat. None defensive and all. Why would you not go for all? Why limit yourself just to the defensive ones? I think you can like later change this down the line. Let's let's leave it on defensive. I don't I don't know what even squad power usage is, or what the skills look like. So whatever. Subtitles auto save. Tutorials sure. I accept this. We are getting in. Well, what about Shepard? He grew up in the colonies. Ah, that's us. He knows how tough life can be out there. His parents were killed when slavers attacked Minduar. <laughs> Minduar. He proved himself during the Blitz. Held off enemy forces on the ground until reinforcements arrived. If that's us. He's the only reason Elysium is still standing. We can't question his courage. Humanity needs a hero. And Shepard's the best we've got. Send me in. Sign I'll me up, coach. Call. In the year 2148, explorers on Mars discovered the remains of an ancient space-faring civilization. In the decades that followed, these mysterious artifacts revealed startling new technologies and enabling travel to the further stars. The basis for the incredible technology was a force that controlled the very fabric of space and time mass effect. <laughs> Did not give me the chance to read it all. Pretty sure that's like there some weapon or something like that. Initiating transmission sequence. Oh shit. Commander. We are commander. We are connected. Calculating transit mass and destination. But well, this already feels the epic. Is hot. Acquiring approach vector. All stations secure for transit. To infinity and beyond. Approach run has begun. Look at that serious face. Like a space teleporter. An enormous freaking space again just shoot us into the space. Check. Internal emission sync engaged. All systems online. Drift. Just under 1500k. 1500 is good. Your captain will be pleased. Jesus Christ, who are you? I hate that guy. <laughs> Nihilus gave you a compliment. <laughs> So you hate him. Oh my god, that's my art twin or something. Remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. The council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Hmm. Yeah, that is the official story. But only an idiot believes the official story. Okay, so that freaking alien is here to like spy on us because he was sent by the council also casual racism by joker over here we're starting off strong you're overreacting cut the chatter i agree okay this is not necessarily um like dragon age origins this is more so you know dragon dragon age to um dialogue wheel in which you have like um, a brief summary of what your character will say. I, I do like it when it's all like laid out so you know exactly what you're saying. 
but, but we'll see how this one works. Um, let's go for the middle one. You always expect the worst. How bad feelings are an occupational hazard. But we don't go anywhere unless there's a good reason, so... What are we doing here? Joker, status report. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth system's engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach Eden Prime. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here, Lieutenant. <laughs> Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the comm room for a debriefing. You get that, Commander? Yeah, so CMD or whatever that abbreviation was, that's Commander. I was under the impression that it would be, you know, captaining our own ship. But there is also another captain aboard, huh? A competition for Shepard? He sounds angry. Something must have gone wrong with the mission. <laughs> captain always sounds like that when he's talking to me. Can't possibly imagine why. <laughs> oh, oh. Shit. We're in the game. Oh. All right, all right. All right, all right. You can talk to Joker. I don't know how or why. Or do that. I can talk to this guy also? How do I? You probably don't want to keep the captain waiting, Commander. Okay, you do it with the space bar. That's kind of wacky. Captain's waiting for you in the comm room, Commander. Yup, I know. Thank you very much. What else do we have here? What's in our? Uh, maybe I'll wait off a little bit before I power up the inventory and mess with all of the all of the things. We'll eventually go through all of the tutorials, I assume. Okay, Presley so, was the issue. Congratulations, Commander. Looks like we had a smooth run. You heading down to see the captain? Uh, I heard you Sounds arguing. Like you trust our Turian guest. Sorry, Commander. Just having a chat with Adams down at Engineering. It didn't mean to cause any trouble. But you have to admit, something's odd about this mission. The whole crew feels it. See, I want to get to the bottom of this. <laughs> and goodbye. You think the Alliance Brass is holding out on us? If all we're supposed to do is test out the stealth system, why is Captain Anderson in charge? And then there's Nihilus. Spectres are elite operatives, top covert agents. Why send a Spectre, a Turian Spectre, on a shakedown run? It doesn't add up. Yeah, how about we freaking go to the Spectre and ask him directly? Oh. What do you know about the stealth systems? I just know it masks our location from scans and sensors. Cutting edge technology. The Normandy's the only ship with this prototype drive. But why are we fully staffed? A skeleton crew would be cheaper, less chance of security leaks, too. Plus, there's Nihilus. It's pretty obvious this shakedown run is just a cover. Hmm. Okay, we are we are dropped right into this whole mess. And it's all not feeling right, right? Okay, so the ones to the right, they will progress the the like dialogue, and you will exit out out of it. But you can like investigate. Yeah, pretty much. This is like Dragon Age Two dialogue wheel. I don't remember what exactly what thing exactly um, Inquisition uses, but I remember there were like these icons in Dragon Age Two that would basically. Uh, give you like an idea of what like tone of voice the main character will use. I guess that's not in Mass Effect. It was not thought of at this point in time when this game released. For what? Damned if I know, Commander. We're out here on false pretenses. I'm not a fan of being left in the dark. Do you have a problem with the captain? No, sir. But I can't figure out what he's doing here. 
Captain Anderson is one of the most decorated special forces officers in the service. Oh my god. If he melted down all his medals, he could make a life-size statue. A competition for a shepherd. You don't send a soldier like that on a do-nothing mission. He's treating the shakedown run too seriously. Something big is going on. Hmm. You don't trust Nihilus. Nihilus. I don't like Turians in general. It runs in my family. My grandfather fought in the first contact war. Lost a lot of friends when the Turians hit us. Okay. So, <laughs> oh, it's okay. A, a lot of terms being thrown my way, but is being a Spectre different from being like a Turian? I, I guess Turian is like the race of the guy and like the specter is, is, is his occupation. That was 30 years ago. You can't blame Nihilus for that. No, I guess not. But it still makes me nervous to have a specter on board, especially a Turian. We're an hmm. alliance vessel, human military, but Nihilus doesn't answer to the captain like the rest of us. Spectres operate outside the normal chain of command. And they don't come along just to observe shakedown runs. <laughs> Nihilus looks like he's expecting some heavy action. Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. So this guy is... Yeah. Weirded out mostly by the guy being a Spectre and not liking Spectres, not necessarily Turians. Okay. Okay, I'll look into it. I'll see if it. I can get some answers when I see him. Good luck, Commander. Yeah. Okay, we got some... Freaking XP, the codex got updated. Actually, let me look into the freaking key bindings. How do you open the co codex? Now that I... Oh, it's O. All right. Now that we got like a codex entry, let's open it up. What the hell is this? Primary, secondary? Mm-hmm. Roughly 1,200 years ago, the Turians were invited to join the Citadel Council. This is surprising. The role of galactic peacekeepers. The Turians have the largest fleet it's voice in Citadel acted? space, and they make up the single largest portion of the Council's military forces. As their territory and influence has spread, the Turians have come to rely on the Solarians for military intelligence and the Asari for diplomacy. Despite a somewhat colonial attitude towards the rest of the galaxy, the ruling hierarchy understands they would lose more than they would gain if the other two races were ever removed. Turians come from an autocratic society that values discipline and possesses a strong sense of personal and collective honor. There is lingering animosity between Turians and humans over the First Contact War of 2157, which is known as the Relay 314 incident to the Turians. <laughs> Officially, however, the two species are allies, and they enjoy civil, if cool, diplomatic relations. Holy crap, the Codex is like voice acting, voice acted in this game? That's amazing. Okay, I guess I will not be destroying my throat playing this game and reading everything aloud. All right. Humanity's first Holy contact so with much to race occurred look into already. At that time, the Alliance allowed survey fleets to activate any dormant mass relays discovered, a practice considered dangerous and irresponsible by Council-aligned races. When a Turian patrol discovered a human fleet attempting to activate a relay, they attacked. One human vessel survived, retreating to the colony of Shanxi. The Shanxi. followed, quickly defeating the local forces. Shanxi was occupied, the first and to date only human world to be conquered by an alien species. The Turians believed the handful of ships they defeated represented the bulk of human defenses, so they were unprepared when the second fleet, under Admiral Castany Drescher, launched a strong counteroffensive, evicting them from Shanxi. The Turians mobilized for full scale war, drawing the attention of the rest of the galaxy. The Council quickly intervened, forcing a truce. Fortunately for humanity, the First Contact War was ended with a diplomatic solution. Okay, okay, first look at the freaking lore, so much to take in. Alright, so it is like the Alliance... Uh, oh, okay. I was, uh, like, imagining in my head something like maybe Star Trek with... Uh, I don't really know what the organization is called in that game. Oh, there's the Galactic Fleet that is made up of all kinds of people. Um, peoples. 
uh, like, you know, alien races and stuff like that. Uh, but I guess maybe the Alliance is like a mainly like human organization. That's okay, okay. Game changing my view on this already. The Systems Alliance is an independent supranational government representing okay. the interests of humanity as a whole. This explains it. <laughs> the Alliance is responsible for the governance and defense of all extrasolar colonies and stations. The Alliance grew out of the various national space programs as a matter of practicality. Sol's planets had been explored and exploited through piecemeal national efforts. The expense of colonizing entire new solar systems could not be met by any one country. With humans knowing that alien contact was inevitable, there was enough political will to jointly fund an international effort. Still, the Alliance was often disregarded by those on Earth until the first contact war. Mm, yep. While the national governments dithered and bickered over who should lead the effort to liberate Shanxi, the Alliance fleet struck decisively. Post-war public approval gave the Alliance the credibility to establish its own parliament and become the galactic face of humanity. Okay, so this is how it works. Ah, supranational governmental figure, huh? Okay, representing Earth. Okay, got it. Got it. Everything clear. Too many spy things to things. <laughs> Shade is constantly being thrown towards the Spectre. Okay, let's look into it. Let's look into it. Ah, yes, yes, please. O seven. 7 That's right, soldier. Someone important is walking through. What do you think, Commander? We won't be staying on Eden Prime too long, will we? I'm itching for some real action. I sincerely hope you're kidding, Corporal. Your real action usually ends with me patching up crew members in the infirmary. Hmm, so a doctor and Jenkins. You need to calm down, Corporal. A good soldier stays cool, even under fire. That's right. Sorry, Commander, but <laughs> this waiting's killing me. I've never been on a mission like this before, not one with a Spectre on board. <laughs> this guy here is, like, trigger happy. You'll define, goodbye, investigate, it's just another mission. I don't know, I want to investigate first. What can you tell me about Nihilus? Turians are generally well respected by the other species. Their fleet has more patrols protecting Citadel space than any other. They don't always get on well with us, though. Some people find them too rigid. Others still blame them for the first contact war. Hmm. As for Nihilus, I haven't said more than two words to him. He usually only speaks to the captain. I heard Nihilus once took down an entire enemy platoon all by himself. Man, I can't really? believe I'm on a mission with an actual Spectre. The guy, not just another Spectre. Nihilus took down an entire enemy platoon. Uh, this guy is is freaking joining our party or whatever. I believe there is a little bit of the, the party mechanic um, in this game. Not as um, complicated and elaborate as, um, you know, in Origins with like the... Uh, like the active pause and like taking total control of them but i think you like ran like a party or something in this game what do you know about the specters only what i've heard specter agents work directly for the citadel council they usually work alone or in small groups specters don't have any official power though basically they're a shadow organization with a mandate to preserve and protect galactic stability Protect it at any cost. Don't forget that part. Spectres operate above the law. Okay. Why don't we have any of our own people in there? Our Spectres own people. Spectres usually come from the council <laughs> races, like the Turians. We've been trying to get a human accepted into their ranks for years now. So far, it hasn't happened. Okay. Hey, Commander, you'd make a good Spectre. Oh. You're a war hero, right? Held off an entire enemy fleet during the Blitz single-handed. That's, That's right. That's the kind of talent the Spectres are looking for. This is all just wild speculation. The Spectres aren't interested in recruiting humans, no matter how capable. Why not? 
why not is the question okay the, the fucking world building is insane my brain is expanding and trying to make place for all of this information how do you control agents with unlimited power i suppose the council could revoke the spectre status of an agent who got out of hand at that point citadel security services would take over those c-sec grunts wouldn't stand a chance the spectres were 20 ordinary soldiers the spectres police themselves an agent goes rogue they send another agent to take him down that's spectre does <laughs> The corporal's confusing romantic legends with reality, Commander. That's a guy. That's a guy. I love him. I love him. How do you control agents with unlimited power? Okay. I suppose the council could revoke the spectre. Spe I could totally the skip through it. Yup. Romantic legends with reality, Commander. Have you... What do you know about this? Spectre? Only what I've... Yes. Spectre's yes. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Don't forget yes. That Eden spectre Prime. Above the law. You're from Eden Prime, aren't you, Jenkins? What's it like? It's very peaceful, Commander. They've been real careful with development, so you don't have any city noise or pollution. Oh. My parents lived on the outskirts of the colony. At night, I used to climb this big hill and stare across the fields back at the lights from the main settlement. It was gorgeous. But when I got older, I realized it was a little too calm and quiet for me. That's why I joined the Alliance. Even Paradise gets boring after a while. Okay. I think that's mostly it. One more? Any idea why Eden Prime was chosen as our destination? Not really sure, Commander. Eden Prime is one of our most stable colonies. Good place to take the Normandy for a shakedown run, I guess. No real danger there. But there's got to be something else going on. We've got a Spectre on board. That's why I'm so wound up. I can't wait for the real mission to start. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll do fine. Just like every other assignment you've had and everything will work out. Easy for you to say. You proved yourself in the Blitz. Everybody knows what you can do. This is my big chance. I need to show the brass what I can do. Holy shit, there's so much dialogue. <laughs> 40 minutes into this episode and we've been only... Uh, we have not even left the very first room of the ship. God damn, but this is so interesting. This is so interesting. This whole situation with this, like, agent and, like, a war hero is also piloting the ship. And there's, like, full crew on board and we are going towards this uh, peaceful place, but no one knows why. Okay, okay. Color me intrigued. You're young, Corporal. You have a long career ahead of you. Don't do something stupid to mess it up. Don't worry, sir. I'm not gonna screw this up. <laughs> I love this guy. He will definitely die. He's so excited and so trigger happy. He will like, his head will be blown off or something. The captain's waiting for me. Goodbye, Commander. Paragon plus two codex and XP. Okay, this is so peculiar. You get like XP for just talking, uh, for, for talking with these uh, characters on board. It doesn't seem like I'm progressing any type of a any type of a mission or anything like that. Just straight up XP uh, for for talking to them. Let's see what was. Spectres <laughs> are agents from the office of Another special essay. tactics and reconnaissance, and answer only to the Citadel Council. Yeah, the Citadel Council sent him here. Military operatives granted the authority to deal with threats to peace and stability in whatever way they deem necessary. They operate independently or in groups of two or three. Some are empathetic peacekeepers, resolving disputes through diplomacy. Others are cold-blooded assassins, ruthlessly dispatching problem individuals. Wonder which one this All guy is. Get the job done one way or another, often operating outside the bounds of galactic law. The Spectres were founded after the Salarians joined the Council. Salarians. For many years, they operated in secrecy as backroom problem solvers. Only after the Krogan rebellions did their activities become publicized. Assignment of a Spectre is less contentious than a military deployment, but makes it clear that the Council is concerned about a situation. Yeah, the Council is concerned about the situation, but we don't know what the hell is going on. Beautiful. I totally thought you can interact with this galactic hologram or some stuff, but no, it's just... Oh, wait, wait you can. <laughs> Only the commanding officer may specify the destination for the Normandy. Okay, you can interact with this. It was just overlapping with like talking to Navigator Presley over there. Okay, Captain, we are coming in hot. Where did, oh, <laughs> the Spectre already assassinated the Captain. Nihilus. 
Commander Shepard. I was hoping you'd get here first. It will give us a chance to talk. Okay. I'm not gonna go for the where's Captain Anderson because the guy said that I was hoping you would get her here first. So he's somewhere else. Let's talk. What about? I'm interested in this world we're going to. Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. <laughs> I, I wouldn't know. I've never been there, but I know of it. It's become something of a symbol for your people, hasn't it? Oh, really? Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it, really? Bro, I have no idea. I, I have no idea. I was dropped into this, like, some time ago. Is this is, is this information somewhere in the codex? I don't know, my friend. What's your point? I'm I'm starting to like this guy is speaking is speaking in riddles. I'm not gonna go for like this first one over here, which sounds like a polite thing to say. I'm suspicious. I'm sussing you out, Mister Nihilus. Is that a threat? If you've got something to say, just say it. Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? Oh. I think it's about time we told the commander what's really going on. Oh, shit, let's go. This is far more than a simple shakedown run. I'm going for that's obvious. I already figured that out. We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. Hmm. Covered pickup, whatever that means. <laughs> what are we picking up? There must be a reason you didn't tell me about this, sir. This comes down from the top, Commander. Information strictly on a need-to-know basis. A research team on Eden Prime unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. It was Prothean. Shit. <laughs> Shit. A, a space beacon? That's not good. <laughs> Many f freaking sci-fi or like Marvel movies end with like a beacon in the sky and a rift opening up and then everything blows up. I thought the Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. Okay. Their legacy still remains. The mass relays, the citadel, our ship drives. It's all based on Prothean technology. This is Big Shepard. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. Okay. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the Citadel for proper study. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. Oh, this is so much interesting. So this race vanished like 50 uh, K years ago and humans basically like back engineered the technology. That's so cool. Why didn't we keep the beacon for ourselves? You humans don't have the best reputation. Some species see you as selfish, too unpredictable, too independent, even dangerous. Sharing that beacon will improve relations with the Council. Plus, we need their scientific expertise. They know more about the Protheans than we do. The beacon is not the only reason I'm here, Shepard. Nihilus wants to see you in action, Commander. He's here to evaluate you. Oh my god, maybe Shepard truly is getting into the, the fucking Spectre town. Will we be accepted? Like hell he is. <laughs> What's going on, Captain? The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Yeah. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, shows how far the Alliance has come. You held off an enemy assault during the Blitz single-handed. You showed not only courage, but also incredible skill. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. Th this is so funny. I have no idea how this play plays out, this game, how it plays out. I cannot even whip out a gun, let alone shoot it. And I'm this freaking war hero that's held off who knows what single-handedly the, the, the nihilus like we we load into eden prime and he sees me like interact with enemies getting my head blown off instantly and he'll be like hmm 
Hmm, this is your war hero, huh? <laughs> Why would a Turian want a human in the Spectres? Not all Turians resent humanity. Some of us see the potential of your species. We see what you have to offer to the rest of the galaxy, and to the Spectres. We are an elite group. It's rare to find an individual with the skills we seek. I don't care that you're human, Shepard. I only care that you can do the job. This guy is, I don't care about your race, Shepard. I only care about the fire that you can fucking shoot a gun really well. <laughs> I assume this is good for the Alliance. Earth needs this, Shepard. We're counting on you. Oh my god, the I Earth is counting on me. for myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. You'll be in charge of the ground team. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. Okay. What do you know about the Protoss? <laughs> Just what they taught us in school. They were a technologically advanced species that ruled the galaxy 50,000 years ago. Mm. Then they vanished. Mm. Nobody really knows how or why, though I've heard why? theories. But everyone agrees, galactic civilization wouldn't exist without them. This is so interesting. Their citadel is the very heart of galactic society. And without their mass relays, interstellar travel would be impossible. We all owe the Protheans a great debt. This is so interesting, and they are building up the Protheans so much. I do wonder whether throughout the course of the series you just like go get into contact with them or like I don't know the proteins like uh, the proteins uh, come back and become like the main antagonists like who knows so far the game ha uh, has been establishing these different like um, alien species, the one that Nihilus is, and that other one was name dropped, and it's like, yeah, people may not necessarily, you know, trust them or anything, but you know, they are cool, they are chill. But the fucking Protheans, holy moly! I'd like to know more about Eden Prime before we touch down. It's a peaceful farming world, but it represents something much bigger. Eden Prime is one of our oldest and most successful colonies. It proved we were ready to face the challenges of settling new worlds, to forge a place for humanity beyond Earth. It symbolizes humanity's growth and evolution as a spacefaring species. And after this, it will be known as the world where humans made a discovery of galactic importance. Okay. Why is this beacon so important? How big is it? All advanced galactic <laughs> civilization is based on Prothean technology, even yours. If we hadn't discovered those Prothean ruins buried on Mars, we'd still be stuck on Earth. That uh. was just a small data cache. Who knows what we can learn from this beacon? Okay. Well, it's a weapons archive. We can't let it fall into the wrong hands. Wrong hands. The Attican Traverse isn't the most stable sector of Citadel space. There are plenty of raiders and criminal groups active in the region. They might figure a Prothean beacon is worth the risk of attacking an Alliant ship. Plus, Eden Prime is right on the border of the Terminus system. The fucking Terminus system. Riders, bandits. How many freaking nouns are you throwing at me? Proper nouns. The Attic and Traverse is under Citadel protection. If the Terminus systems attack, it's an act of war. Technically, yes. But some of the species in the Terminus might be willing to start a war over this. Okay. The last thing the Council wants is to get dragged into a major conflict with the Terminus systems. We have to keep this low key. Okay, I understand. This is no freaking... This is no Star Trek. There is no peace in the galaxy. <laughs> there, there, there is some alliance over here, and I'm not talking about the military organization ruling Earth or, like, governing the space for the humans, but, like, actual races and... Not, not, not necessarily countries. Some freaking bodies that are against us, the Alliance, and whatever we have going for us. Okay, okay. Okay, I'm ready to go. Word, Captain. Just you drop me in. Close to Eden. Captain, we got a problem. Of course. What's wrong, Joker? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Oh, you better come see this cliche. <laughs> <Bring it up. laughs> oh, no. Get down. Sounds like trouble, guys. We are under attack, taking heavy casualties. 
I repeat, heavy casualties! We can't! We need evac! They came out of nowhere! We need... Uh-oh. Who? Oh, it's a massacre. <laughs> oh, no. Everything cuts out after that. No comm traffic at all. It just goes dead. There's nothing. Reverse and hold of 38.5. Someone's stealing our beacon. Status report. 17 minutes out, Captain. No other Alliance ships in the area. Take us in, Joker. Fast and quiet. This mission just got a lot more complicated. Okay. A small strike Ooh. team can move quickly without drawing attention. It's our best chance to secure the beacon. Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. Go, what the hell is that Tell hand? Tell Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You're going in. Hey, th this is clearly is a shot of importance. Ooh. Engaging stealth systems. Okay. Okay. Somebody was doing some serious digging here, Captain. Square up. Woo. Your team's the muscle in this operation, Commander. Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. What about survivors, Captain? Helping survivors is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. Approaching drop point one. Oh my goodness. This is my team? Coming with us? I move faster on my own. Oh no. Come back. Well scout out ahead. He'll feed you status reports throughout the mission. Otherwise, I want radio silence. The, the clear another war hero, another absolute menace on the battlefield is like, I'll go my way. You would take Jenkins, that idiot who will get himself shot. I don't like putting my life in the hands of a Turian, sir. Nalus is on our side. He wants you in the spectrum, and he wants that people. Ah. Uh... Yes. I don't know about this, Captain. Understood. Ready and able, sir. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck. We are approaching drop point two. I do appreciate the freaking designs on the spaceship. Oh. Ship perimeter secure, Commander. We're in. Kaidan, Alenko, and Jenkins. Okay, that's our team, huh? This place got hit hard, Commander. Hostiles everywhere. Keep your guard up. Okay, okay. Okay. All right. Okay, there is weapon overheating. Okay, we have party freaking members. We can zoom for the it all in. Okay, yeah, thank you. <laughs> oh god. What happened here? Oh no. Oh no. What the hell are those? What, what, what is this? What is this space? Oh, are we being dropped into like the alien franchise? I don't want to come into contact with these. Okay, how about we save the game? How about we save the game also? Yeah, new save file. Yup, save the game. Okay, I believe there's also like... Yeah, quick saves. Okay, let's go. Let's roll, team. We, uh, after an hour of exposition, we are finally dropped into freaking action. Oh. Oh, oh, oh wait a minute. I, I, I pressed shift. <laughs> Hold off the action a little bit. I pressed shift in order to sprint. And there is, there is active pause. Okay, okay. Okay, Caden has uh, equipment, throw and sabotage. Okay, okay, this is more. Can I choose it? Oh, I can also mess with this. I can totally pr probably give them like weapons and make them use a weapon that is suitable for them. Oh, these are mine, I assume. Okay, switching. All right, all right, this got very complicated. Gas bags. Don't worry, they're harmless. Oh, really? <laughs> really? These? What if I shoot them? Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. 
this was clear tutorial uh, tutorial for like um, aiming and shooting let me see yeah totally i can see my weapon overheating wait i'm trying to sprint with shift is it is it, is it there even sprint in this game what is this upgrade kit High caliber barrel shield regeneration. What is this? What is this? Reduce to omni gel take all value 415. What is this? How about take all? Okay. Codex. I don't have time for the codex as of now because we got into action. Check those codex entries when we figure out what's going on. Um, is there a map? Oh, okay. There is a map. Vehicle store, destination, squad member, plot, a mineral point of interest, anomaly, debris, surveyed, transition. Okay, dig site, dig site. Excavation site, head to the dig site, open journal, set destination. Okay, pretty much straightforward. Is there a sprint in this game? Is there a sprint? Not graphics? Um, controls? Uh, 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 uh. Uh, wait a minute, where did I see the freaking controls? Key bindings, here it is. Move, move, toggle, walk. Okay, you can walk, you can crouch. Oh, it's... Uh, uh, I don't know about this. Use slash sprint. This is such a wacky thing to group together. Using and sprinting. I mean, as in, uh, the space bar was already used for, like, um, you know, talking to the people on the ship. Okay, I have to get used to this. Okay. <laughs> okay, the animation is a little bit wacky. Yeah, we are totally supposed to go this way. No. Wait a minute. How come? How come I'm already freaking lost? This is amazing. <laughs> this is amazing. This is your your freaking Commander Shepard. War hero. Not knowing what the hell is going on. I might not know what I'm doing, but I'm itching to get into a firefight. Let's go. Oh, ooh. Yeah, no one's inside. For now. Oh no, Jenkins. <laughs> Jenkins, you watch out. <laughs> Jenkins, you watch out. Ah! No! Oh, oh. Like, just like this? D did I just lose Jenkins like that? Were, were my predictions correct? Oh no, he, he, there he is on the ground. Maybe you can save him. Oh, oh my god. What are you basing those words on? Jenkins, wake up. Got fucked up by some drones. Oh my, oh no. Rip right through his shields. You're at a chance. Um... Yeah, I'm. I, I told. I, I told him. We told him. Don't rush in. Don't get trigger happy. Happy. And yet Jenkins runs in, and the first basic bitch enemy takes him down. This is tragic, but at the same time a little bit hilarious. We can't help Sometimes him now. Marines die. The rest of us just have to carry on. We still have to find that beacon. Aye, aye, sir. Uh -huh. Kaidan is like, uh, sure, sure, sir. Yeah, yeah. But you'll not let me die, right? Yeah, okay. M maybe Jenkins died because I did not control his character and I did not issue, like, an order for him. What do we have here? He has throw enemies and object using a mass effect field, name drop, roll credits and sabotage overheats nearby enemy weapons and burns them for minor damage how about we also whip out lancer 
Kessler, Storm, and Avenger. Let's take this stuff out. What is this? Many gel is needed to heal injured squad members. Omni gel can be used to bypass the decryption and electronic challenges. Both can be blah blah blah. V to use many gel to heal your squad. Oh, the guy is a little bit hurt now that I look at it. Okay. That's like, uh, just like this, okay, I see the medkit icon towards... Okay, I like this gun more. Oh, I like this one more. How did he get hurt? Oh, what? Oh! This stuff has spray, okay, and I also... Try to catch up with you at the dig site. Okay, several things. We do have the 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 blue bar also towards the bottom of the screen. That's shield. Um, our what's your name? <laughs> what's your name, Cadet? Come back here. Come back here. <laughs> Caden. Okay, he also has like a shield bar. All right, all right, that's how it works. Uh, squad. The, the squad screen lets you view your team's talents. Mouse over a talent or its rank to view it. Click on a talent to spend a talent point to gain a rank in it. As you gain levels, you will acquire talent points and unlock higher ranks. Okay. Pretty straightforward. Here's our squad, R.I.P. Jenkins once again. I'm level one, but I have three points, huh? Ooh. Oh, okay. Okay, I see it, I see it. Pistols, shotguns, assault rifles, sniper rifles, combat armor, first aid, fitness the hell is this oh increasing health soldier regenerating health oh and this is very much interesting i also want to put point in put points into this into intimidating and charming Opens charm options in conversation decreases the cost the cost of items in stores Charm options in conversations will be grayed out if you do not have a high enough skill rank. Okay, that just means that we have not encountered one yet. New skill ranks will unlock when you become a spectre. F f fucking spoiler! And as you earn paragon points. Um, same goes for this. So intimidation and charm. I am so freaking tempted to just put in like points into both of these. Mm. Okay, okay. Undo talent points. Auto level up. But they also want assault rifles, training soldier. The soldier thing just looks straight up good, right? Like it increases health and gives us health regen. Let's go for this. I do wonder whether you should be like using or putting points in both of those in charm and intimidate or you should just like use one of them. How about we go for charm? Yeah, we are a charming guy. Why is fitness grayed out though? I do wonder. Is it only grayed out for now? Maybe I have to learn it somehow. Actually, can I just exit this screen? I can totally exit this screen. Let's hold off from spending the very the very last point then. Okay, I think we are using like an assault rifle, so that's perfect. That's totally in line. That's totally in line with our speci specialization. Use left shit to issue orders, Z to attack your target. Mm -hmm. Have a specific squad mate to move. Okay, okay. Q or E to send squad mates ahead. C to call them back. Okay. 
Fine, fine, perfect. Oh. Okay. Easy peasy. <laughs> there must be an enemy behind this. Behind this freaking tree. Okay. Perfect. I swear, Kaiden, this guy is goaded. This guy is a better version of Jenkins. He knows exactly where the enemies are, even though they are hidden behind trees. And I see an enemy still on the map. Yep. There you go. Dead. No ammo in this game, that's so peculiar. No loot or so for now, considering the enemies. What do we have? Oh, there it is. There it is. Something is there. Hype, hype. A med kit. Okay, med gel plus one. I do wonder whether five is the maximum amount that we can carry with us. Okay. I'm not necessarily sure whether that thing uh, showed up on my map. Oh. Let's go. A replacement for Jenkins just makes the made an appearance. All right. Oh <laughs> no. Oh no. Oh RIP that guy. We ought to help her. What are these enemies? Some freaking alien robots? Oh, definitely, definitely. A spray and pray, baby. This is a spray and pray type of a situation. Geth Trooper? Thanks for your help, Commander. I didn't think I was gonna make it. Join the team, Ashley. Join the team, baby. Check your targets. Could be friendly. <laughs> Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams of the 212. You the one in charge here, sir? Uh, yes. Are you wounded, Williams? A few scrapes and burns. Nothing serious. The others weren't so lucky. Yeah, we've just seen them. Oh, man. We were <laughs> patrolling the perimeter when the attack hit. We tried to get off a distress call, but they cut off our communications. I've been fighting for my life ever since. Okay, okay, soldier. You are capable. You're joining my team. Mm. Where's the rest of your squad? We tried to double back to the beacon, but we walked into an ambush. I don't think any of the others... I think I'm the only one left. Okay, let's console her a little bit. She did a good job after all. This isn't your fault, Williams. You couldn't have done anything to save them. Yes, sir. We held our position as long as we could, until the Geth overwhelmed us. Geth. The Geth haven't been seen outside the Vale in nearly 200 years. Why are they here now? Well, they must have come for the beacon. Yup, it's clear. The site is close, just over that rise. It might still be there. Join us. Uh, I'm going straight out for it. We could use your help, Williams. Aye, aye, sir. It's time for payback. Oh, let's go, just like this. N no hesitation. Okay. What else do you know about the Geth? Just what I remember from history class back in school. They're synthetics, non-organic life forms with limited AI programming, created by the Quarians a few centuries ago. They were supposed to be a source Robots. of cheap labor, but ended up turning on the Quarians and drove them into exile. Well, after that, they just kind of disappeared behind the Perseus Veil. Nobody's really heard much from them since. All right. This is peculiar. We are fighting robots. Maybe they are controlled by someone. Tell me everything you know about the Beacon. They were doing some digging out here to extend the monorail and expand the colony. A few weeks ago, they unearthed some Prothean ruins and the beacon. Suddenly, every scientific expert in the colony was interested. That's when they brought us in to secure the site. I don't know much about the beacon itself, but I heard one of the researchers say this could be the biggest scientific discovery of the century. Yep, we've heard. What happened to the researchers at the dig site? I don't know. They set up camp near the beacon. The 232 was with them. Maybe their unit fared better than mine. I mean, based on the... Yeah, based on what we've seen of that poor guy who got skewered by that... Pike. Or, or Spike. 
I don't think, like, uh, just ordinary civilians can survive on their own in here. Describe what happened leading up to the attack. We were sent out a couple of nights ago from the main colony to secure the area. Seemed like a routine patrol, until the Geth hit us. We never knew they were coming. Okay, I believe we've already got that. What happened to the researchers at the yeah. base? I don't know. They set up camp near the beacon. The 232 was with them. Maybe their unit fared better than mine. Sometimes these dialogue options that you've already got through reappear and confuse me. <laughs> How about Nihilus? Have you seen a Turian Spectre around here? There aren't any Turians on Eden Prime. None that I've ever met. Not sure I'd be able to tell if one was a Spectre anyway. If you saw this guy, you'd know. He carries enough firepower to wipe out a whole platoon. Luckily, he's on our side. Sorry. Like I said, no Turians. Okay, uh, I think that's it. Let's go. Alright. Alright. Press escape to go to the squad screen and to spend talent points for new squad members. Alright. That's awesome. And just like that, Ashley Williams joins our team. Okay, awesome. I think that's going to be my stopping point um, for today. Let's quick save the game and talk a little bit about the the experience. I'm, I'm loving the game so far. Obviously, there's been like a, a, a lot of talking and a lot of uh, lore dropping. Uh, oh my God, now that I see that guy is totally there, skewered. <laughs> And I'm talking over his dead corpse. Um, yeah, there's a lot of talking, a lot of lore, a dumping, establishing this whole scenario. But I think uh, it's done in a pretty good way. Um, comes off completely natural and organic. Um, yeah, um, I was extending this episode a little bit uh, in order to get into some actual action and to also have like an opinion on the combat. But it seems that we've just scratched um you know the surface of that with the shooting which feels already feels good but also the squad mechanics i can't wait to get into into more of those yeah this the, the plot seems interesting the designs of everything basically the spaceships and the ships and the guns and the aliens it all looks cool and the story seems to be seems to be captivating okay i can't just i just can't wait to get into more of this mass effect goodness well i think that's going to be it for today thank you very much for watching like comment and subscribe but remember to do it only if you feel like it it is always greatly appreciated though because it helps the channel a great deal um and considering the channel also check it out because there may be some blind playthroughs in there that may pique your interest for the very last time um thank you very much for embarking on this mass effect journey with me um see you in the very next one and take care of yourselves beautiful people bye 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 bye